Grand um, Marshal St. Patrick's Day Parade next year. We're going to do it. I'm there. I was completely, I completely thought she was Irish. Guy, guys, come here. Everyone is, Sebastian, everyone's in for a wild ride when they watch this, aren't they? <laughs> the twists and turns, my God. Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> it's a couple of turns, a couple of 360s. Your character, right, when he starts off, I'm going, do you know what? Why can't we all have men like you? But sometimes you have to always double check the person you're going to go on a date with. Yeah. Take a moment to listen to your instincts and um, wonder what, what's, what's attracting you to this person or what, what are the things that you're responding to and, and why. And I, I always, for me, it was so fascinating because I always forget that we really are affected a lot by the previous, whatever the previous experience is, you know, you come from that and you're sort of already kind of at almost flawed because of it. Cause you're, yes. if the, if a person comes into your life, who's just simply everything you didn't have, you know, like then, then you're like, Oh my God, I have. And so maybe double check that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Daisy, I find like for me, I watched it with my other half. I'm into rom-coms and the first 20 minutes to me was a perfect rom-com. I was like, you guys meet at a store. Did you just go out? Because it, I did feel the emotion between the two of you guys that you get on with each other. Is, that, is it a weird thing to say that it looks like that this is going to be the best relationship that's ever going to happen? Oh, I mean, we, we would say that, like, we Sebastian was saying, like, he messaged me being like, I've just watched Blue Valentine and I love the Valentine and hate the blue bit. Can we do the same with our film? It's like so lovely at the start. Mm -hmm. And then obviously goes in such a journey. And I think both of us were like, oh, it'd be quite nice to just stay in this rom-com world. But, um, but yeah, we really did go, which is, which is good. And um, yeah, definitely made the latter half of filming a lot easier. <laughs> and personally would you guys be into gory movies so like you know when you were holding on to you know whatever it was limbs or anything were there part of you going oh this is gross or are you into these type of movies i honestly i i watch everything but i but i was so impressed with the prop department and because everything was really very carefully kind of stitched together and 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 made i mean they had actually taken real meat and not human meat and, and and kind of camouflaged it around all you know sort of just built these body parts from scratch and so like the level of detail intensity that went into it was um i was kind of blown away by that it made it very easy i guess as an actor to kind of like work off of that because you didn't have to imagine this thing in front of you you know mm -hmm. no cgi wall of anything behind you <laughs> I always ask actors if they ever take anything from the set. Was there anything that you took? That was there anything that was not edible that you took? <laughs> um, I, don't, I, I, I really wanted to take, I asked if I could have Noah's dress at the end, the pink dress, because I thought it was so funny and like so funny to wear just as a like Halloween costume one day. Um, although a bit sad to like wear your own because <laughs> being like, eh, I was in a scary film. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's um, I wanted to take that, but they didn't let me have it in case we had to do reshoots. So I didn't take anything. No, did you? No, I wanted that. I think I wanted that jacket. Oh, the, the 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 jacket. The. But then they said you'd have to take it with the blood on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I said that's not good. <laughs> you had some nice furniture though. Steve's house was really like Steve had good taste in Vernon. There were some Again, lovely sofas and things like that. But set design, I mean, um, so talented. I mean, they built this house from scratch. Every mm -hmm. little thing that you see in there is not without some thought behind mm -hmm. it. There's one thing that has been in my head for the past 24 hours, and that is Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like what a ringtone to have in the middle of absolutely everything I think that's part of the madness of the whole movie isn't it that it kind of you know brings you down in one way and then all of a sudden you're kind of oh Jesus that's after happening it must be fantastic really? to work on a script something like that that's just wild yeah and that script was that sorry that song was in the script from the beginning so we had such a good sense already going into it of the tone of it of, of that of that, you know, unsettling humor that comes out of nowhere that makes you laugh and then you feel bad for laughing. <laughs> I think it does that so well. So yeah, that song works so perfectly. And then the way they edited it with everything was so yeah. clever. And Sebastian, when you're, when you're working on this, did, is there anyone that you looked at to try and base your character on? Because, you know, one minute he's, you, you think he's nice, the next minute he's pure evil. Is, has there been any past person? I, I think I went from watching Before Sunrise 
which is one of my favorite movies, <laughs> and into like true life Jeffrey Dahmer, like inside copy, you know, um, and, and like tried to blend the two, but <laughs> it's really, it's really terrifying how how much women have been hunted by serial killers for decades. Like, I mean, cause I really went all the way to Ted Bundy and kind of like even before, and then there's the Golden State Killer and then the Green Re River serial killer. And then it's like, there's, and it was, you know, these hitchhiking kind of killers. And it just, it's really terrifying. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, it all kind of, I would, I would look and try to find out what, how would they would sort of get in there what 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 the tactics were you know and it's always sort of revealing something about your you know themselves that was maybe deprecating or embarrassing yeah. something with family or kids creating this image um the confidence thing the the sort of and and that's that's kind of where a lot of that came from. I think people will see a lot of that, you know, in the movie, you know, because one minute it's nice and you're like, whoa, and then you're like, Jesus. Uh, before I go, I just want to say, Daisy, I'm from Ireland and people will kill me if I don't ask you a question. Did you know how much people adored you and the grow we've had for you during COVID for normal people? Can we just say like, fair play, like you really oh. did for everybody. <laughs> did you so feel lovely. that? Thank you. That's so, so lovely. <laughs> I said it earlier on and they're like, you just need to ask one question. Did, did, did you notice how everyone just kind of went crazy in Ireland for you to a point where it was like, wow. Oh, it was just so lovely. Like, you know, my family's from Ireland and like, I've always loved going there. And so to, yeah, so to be embraced was so, so lovely and such a relief too, because obviously I felt a responsibility to, to play Marianne um, properly because I, you know, that book is so beautiful and she's such a beloved character already. So you know, and, you know, get the accent right and everything. So I just felt so chuffed to be like, yeah, embraced. And I want to go back. I haven't been able to go back since we filmed. And I, lo I lived in Dublin for five months on that job and I loved it so, so much. So I'm desperate to go back and, and you know, and visit again. Grand Marshal um, St. Patrick's Day Parade next year. We're going to do this. I'm there. I was completely, I completely thought she was Irish when I'd seen that. I had no, Phew. yeah, I, you were, I mean. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Guys, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.